Hello and welcome back to our Journeyman career mode. We are, of course, with Ajax. They sit in second position, four points behind FC Groningen. And uh, we are looking to hopefully leapfrog them. We want to try and take the title this season, if possible. Didn't strengthen there in the transfer window, but hopefully the, the boys are firing up and hopefully they can get some, uh, some all-important wins here and uh, propel us to the top of the table. We'll get through two months of action once again. Let's jump across to the calendar and see which games we'll play in this episode. Right, so taking a look at the calendar, we've got PSV in the cup, uh, and we've also got our Champions League campaign getting underway. Uh, but we're not going to play any of those games, because when we move into March, well, it looks like we have got some World Cup action. We have got Finland, and we have got Ireland. I think that might be the final two games uh, before we move into the next round of the World Cup. I think we should be able to secure it, at least with a win here against Finland. So uh, let's get simulating. It's a long way off these two games, so there'll be uh, youth scout reports and all that kind of good stuff, some training, and um, maybe there'll be some fresh faces in this Austrian squad. Let's go. Starting off with a game here against fourth place FC 20 and it's a 4-1 victory. Although Berger has picked up an injury. Uh, let's hope that is not an issue for the upcoming World Cup encounters. Well, just a bruised rib for the cheeseburger. Only out for three days. Thank fuck for that. Right, it's PSV in the Dutch Cup and we come through 1-0 victors. We'll go through to the semi. Right, it is the final youth scout report here from Sweden. Uh, Magnus Eriksson looks okay. Possibly bring him into the academy. Uh, Magnus Eriksson as well. Is that two? No, Magnus. Uh, two Magnuses. Okay, fair enough. Lots of Magnuses here. Uh, Jan Eriksson, 475. Welcome to the academy. Uh, what else have we got? No. All right, I think we'll just make that one signing and we'll move on here from Sweden. Right, we do need to send our scout out. And I asked you a couple of episodes ago uh, to put in some scouting suggestions. And the one with the most thumbs up will get the opportunity here. So this one comes from Mysterious Ronnie. Thank you very much for your comment. There was eight thumbs up on it. We are going to be going to Finland for any. Uh, we are taking on Finland in this World Cup campaign. And we did use Finland last year. So probably nice to go and scout them. Let's see if we can bring in them some world talent. Right, we are away here against Heracles. We're going to send the reserves team out. And they come through with a 3-1 victory. Peng and Raboncho with goals. Home game here against Venlo. And it's another 3-0 victory. Galo with a hat trick. It's another home game here for the first team. And another 3-0 victory. Galo on the board again. Monthly scouting update back for Austria. We've got Clemens Huber, who looks not too shabby. Um, oh, there's one. <sighs> Lawrence Schuster, 6 foot 7. Get in my academy. Uh, that is a good pickup. And we are, of course, in the Netherlands. Uh, there was a goalkeeper there in Daniel Peters. We'll keep an eye on him. Let's keep moving. The reserves team roll out here against PSV away, and we go down 1-0. Ouch. Well, we've got the first leg uh, here against Sporting Portugal. A 1-1 draw, De Jong with the goal. Well, we have to send the reserves out here against Utrecht, and we come through with a 2-1 victory. Peng and Toledo with goals. First of the month, and we take a look at the Youth Academy. Jan Eriksson, 61 overall, 78 to 94 potential playmaker. We'll keep an eye on him. Montenegro, 84 to 90. Auras, 81 to 87. Jan de Vries, 81 to 87. Bogdan, 87 to 93. Schuster, 81 to 94. Uh, six foot seven. We're going to offer him a contract. And uh, Ronald Winkler, well, he's dropped right off. I'm actually going to release him. And Killian Zorna, still coming along. PEC's wall in the semi-finals of the Dutch Cup, and we lose in the 94th minute, 1-0. Damn it. Reserve team rolling out here against AZ for a 2-0 victory. Toledo with two goals. Our first monthly scouting update is back from Finland. And uh, what have they brought us? Nothing. Right, we're away with the reserves to Sparta. We lose 2-1, a backer with an injury, Damon with a red card, and that is not what we needed because uh, we're fighting for top spot at the moment. Well, Lars Backer has got a broken toe. He's missing for two months. Round of 16, Sporting Portugal in the Champions League. It's 1-1 on aggregate. They put a goal in in the 11th minute, but we come fighting back. It's a 3-1 victory, and we move through to the next round. I think scouting update is back from Austria. Where's all the talent, boys? Uh, Schuster looks okay. We'll continue to scout his progress. We've got another couple of months here. Maximilian Schmidt. All right, we'll continue to scout. And the Netherlands. What have you got for us? Peters was still keeping an eye on... And uh, Jerks are 240. We'll keep an eye on. No signings. Right, desperate for a win here against Feyenoord. It's a 5-1 smashing. Galo with two. Right, time to get it back into the World Cup action. It is the qualifiers, and it is Finland, who we used in the last journey, man. And Austria fighting on here. So let's just uh, smash through this and look at the teams. Right. So... 
Austria set up like this. Gruber's up front with the captain's armband. Jungbao, Samitzer, Schoff, Alaba, Lehmer, Strabinger, Hintiger, Wobba, Lenner at right back, Berger. So uh, a good mixture there between youth and uh, proper players. Finland, well, we know this squad inside out pretty much. I know who Pompalo and Scrab are. Jensen as well, Lod. Um, Juranen is a good left back, so um, you know what? This might be a tougher encounter than we think. I think Finland sit fourth in the group, so let's get into this game and see if we can secure some more points for Austria. Jungbao, back to Sabitzer, just trying to create some space here. Lehmer, that's David Alaba. Oh, a lovely bit of skill, takes the strike. And the keeper takes it. Oh, there's a ball forward. Groups on the run. Groups get in! 1-0 Austria! And it's Bernhard Gruber again. We hit him on a counter. A little bit of space opens up, and Yippie Kaye puts it in the back of the net. He is having an absolute stellar World Cup campaign. He's been given the captain's armband, and he's taking the opportunity. He's relishing this opportunity to be the captain. He just took off like a greyhound at the races, gets into the box, puts it past the keeper. It's 1 0 Austria, and Finland are completely on the back foot already. He's got another different number on. He's number 37 now. Slips it forward. Sabitzer. Can he get the pass on? He's got Gruber. Turns his man. Gruber! Oh, blocked. Finds an opening to scrub. Out wide. Sorry has it. He's got Leno with him. Plays it back here for Urinen. They come inside. Jensen. Still inside. Wobber picks him off beautifully. And Alaba cuts through. And it's Sabitzer. Trying to hit him on the counter now. Works his way forward. Sabitzer. Can he get this pass off? He can. He's got Gruber. Gruber strikes, and well, what was he thinking? As well, straight ring up. Sips it off for Sabitzer. Pass off for Alaba. Lamer. Sabitzer brings it inside. He's got Gruber. Oh, there's a penalty. And Gruber drops. Finland have no answer. Gruber is a slippery little sucker. He gets the penalty, and we'll go to the spot to try and score our second goal. Well, he was in the box, he took the delivery, it was a special delivery, and down he goes. And we will now go to the spot, Schoff reckons he's taking it, no chance in hell, where's Grubes? Gruber needs the goal, 70 penalties. Let's go Grubes, smash it in that top corner. Oh, save! Well, from Lehmer, and here is Jungbao, and he's got an acre of space, and he fires it forward, here's Gruber. He'll cut back inside nicely. Gruber! Oh, he's railed the crossbar. Unlucky there for Groves. Alaba tries to bring it inside. Savage against the strike. And I think that took a deflection. No, it's a goal kick. Schoff pushes his way forward. Dodges and weaves his way around the traffic. Cuts back. Slips it off. Gruber trying to take the strike. David Alaba takes the strike. Now the goalkeeper gets in. It comes out the side. Here's Schoff. Can he get in here? He does well, Schoff. Delivers it into the box. Who's there? Fucking no one. Yeah, Straybringer though, how's his long shots? Oh, he dipped late. There is the whistle for half time. We should be 2 0 up, just the one. And we go into half time with the lead. Plays it forward, gets the run from Sabitz up. He tried to play it back, but it was uh, picked off there by the Finland defence. Sabitz picks this one off, fires it forward. David Alaba plays it inside. Oh, Gruber, lovely turn and burn. Oh, it's fucking touched inside bar again. Oh, Gruber, the man is scintillating. You're just waiting for him to create something. Sabitzer picks it off. Shaw fires it forward. Gruber lays this one off. Sabitzer! No, nope, another good save. We are peppering this Finnish goalkeeper. Fuck it, let's give Gruber a crack. 24 yards out. Into the wall. Back it goes. Grubes gets a touch. Ambitious thinking with the captain trying to be involved in everything at the moment. Sabitzer. Fires this one forward, one of Groves, picked off. David Alaba trying to get involved, and Finland starting to pick up a little bit here. They fire it forward. Oh, lovely defensive plays there from Austria. Just held up the last final shot, and they have to reset. Here comes Finland again, pushing on forward. Lehmer ushers him over the line. Three substitutions, Wolf, Azinga and Pischler check in for Alaba, Sabitzer and Wubba. So, uh, we'll see if we can weather the storm here. We've got a big corner coming up. Schoff to deliver. Into the box. Comes out the back. Lame up. Trying to get a touch. Paul Parler got up. Who's going to get there first? Schoff lets it go over the line for a throw in. Wolf. Azinga. Oh, lovely touch. Oh, just couldn't break the line. It was a lovely move. 
Lamer comes in, can't take the ball with him. Here's Finland. They have pushed hard here in the second half, but to no avail. Jung Bao feeds it forward to Zinga. Gets the run here. Bernhard Gruber. Bernhard Gruber! Come on, Austria! 2-0! Oh, an absolute brain fade there from Finland. And you don't let Gruber in with a sniff. Because he'll fucking take that shot every day of the week. Beats off his man and then slaps it home. 2-0 Austria. This one's done. Oh, there's a ball. There's a ball. Bernhard Gruber looking for his hat-trick. Can he finish? No, it's a good save. Had to take on the keeper. Zinger comes in, but you'd assume the whistle isn't too far away. Lehmer gets up. Flat-footed is Jungbao, and there is the whistle. So another three points there for Austria. One game to go, I believe, in the World Cup qualifications. Well, 23 shots to one. That is how you absolutely decimate a team. We were just shooting from everywhere, shooting for fun. And Bernhard grew up with a 9.4. Well, we have secured our spot going through the next round. So we're just going to live sim this one. Uh, I think it's the final game of the qualifications. Austria and Ireland. Gruber's had an incredible tournament thus far. I think he's got seven or eight goals now. And uh, we'll just see if we can uh, pick up a win here against Ireland. That would be handy. Uh, Wolf comes in for Groobs. Okay. Come on, boys. At least get a goal. Someone do something. Ten minutes to go. Which looks like it's going to be a draw. Nil-nil. Yander Fries wants out of the academy. Well, 60 overall, 81 to 87 potential. He's 18 years of age, technically gifted. Welcome to Ajax. All right, let's get things wrapped up here and have a look at our youth academy. Uh, Jan Eriksson is a 74 to 92, Montenegro 84 to 90, Aura 81 to 87, Bavgana 87 to 93, and Killian Zorna 79 to 89. Right, let's take a quick look at how the squad is progressing. Uh, Berger is up four, Stadler up five, Escobar up one, Berger's up two, Hoffman up two, uh, Mulder's up to a 65, up five, Backer injured up seven, Schuster 62, up two, has the potential to be special. Look at the size of the lad, huge. Uh, what else have we got? Abdul, Widdick up one, Damon, Jerkstrails up two, Shower up six, Vizza up seven, Lombardi up two, De Vries we've just checked in at a 60, Azinga's a 60, he's gone up four, um, Decker's a 61, De Graaf 66 up three, Garlo is up to a 90 now, one of the world's best at 24 years of age. Uh, Dysenberg is up 5 to a 66, Berger 57, De Vries 59, Perisal 79, De Witt 63, uh, Ken is a 75, Peng a 76, and Bakker a 67. Okay, squad's looking good. Right, so that's eight games done in the qualifications. Uh, I don't think there's any more games. I'm not 100% sure, but if you just look at how far ahead we are, there's not really much point in playing any more of those qualifications. We know we are through. Germany have been dominating, but it uh, looks like Austria will be going through to the knockout rounds of the World Cup. Taking a quick look at the Euro League, and none of our former teams have pushed through in that competition. Champions League quarterfinals, well, we've got Bayern Munich. That is going to be a big ask for Ajax. We got knocked out in the semi, so we miss out on the Dutch Cup final. It's PEC Zwolle and Feyenoord. And in the Dutch League, what have we got? Seven games remaining, I think. There's one point difference between SC Hervenien and, well, I mean, they're just swapping around. FC Groningen were at top for a long time, but... Uh, They've lost a few games. Ajax need to pick up some more points. Hopefully we can get the job done. I want to move on to the big group five. But that's where we'll leave it today. Hopefully you're enjoying these more sped up episodes. Just played the one game in that one. I was going to play the two, but we didn't really need to. And uh, just smashing through. You can just sit back, relax for 10, 15 minutes and see some FIFA content. Hopefully you're enjoying that kind of style. I think that's how we will move forward with the journeyman. And uh, we will see you in the next episode. I'm Sparring DK. It's 5 o'clock somewhere. And you have a good one.